Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Metacom Mafex action figure review on the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. If you're trying to pick this up, you can get it at Billy. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Man, I know this figure has been out for a while, but now I finally have it and I cannot wait to open it. And did you see the new Wonder Woman trailer? Oh, it looks amazing. Anyway, very nice image of the Wonder Woman figure right there. It's looking good so far. On the side we get Wonder Woman again, BVS and, and yellow, and then we get some product shots right over there, some stuff in Japanese, then not much more on the side aside from Wonder Woman again, and then the BVS logo at the top, and not much more at the bottom. Gotta be at least 15 years or older to own this figure, beware. Anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Mafex Wonder Woman out of the packaging. And just right off the bat, I have to say, this very well may be my favorite Wonder Woman action figure in my collection. I think it looks awesome. I really like the sculpted detail. I love the paint throughout on this. I like the flesh tone. She comes with a lot of accessories. The articulation is awesome, even though there are parts where it's a bit gappy and a little bit awkward and maybe a little bit flimsy, but I still like the articulation a lot. And again, she does come with a lot of accessories. So let's take a closer look at those and then we'll take a closer look at this Gail Gadot Wonder Woman. So one thing that really makes me happy about this piece is that we get another precious Mafex stand. I love these. These things are my absolute favorite display stands that are out there for six inch scale figures. And we get a smaller clip over here as opposed to some of the larger clips that we've gotten on some of the other BVS figures like the Superman and the Armored Batman and the regular Batman all had much larger clips. Uh, this clamp right here is actually a little bit smaller than your average sized one as you can see. It's just a little bit smaller in size. As I close this up, you can see that's a regular one, and then there's a smaller one for Wonder Woman. And here are all her accessories. Wow, she comes with eight interchangeable hands. She has her sword right here, which is going to play an important role in the movie. And then she has her lasso of truth, and she actually has two lassos of truth. And then she has her shield, which I think looks great. The only problem is it does feel a little on the small side, but otherwise I really like it a lot. A lot of sculpted detail in there. You can even see that eagle. That looks really nice, and which I didn't think was actually in the movie until I got it on the Blu-ray and then I was able to see it. But yeah, nice gold paint throughout on here. I really love these little patterns with the little characters and all that right there. Nice silver paint too, and even the inside of it looks really good. Nice gold paint, man. I'm really liking that a lot. These straps are really good too. I like them. Then she also has her Lasso of Truth, which I think could have been painted with a much brighter gold. I don't know, even looking at the shield right here, I feel like the shield is made out of a brighter gold, or painted with a brighter gold than this Lasso of Truth, especially because it glows. So, I don't know. I think they could have gone with something much brighter. And, you know, like the little rivet lines that you see in rope, it's not really coming through. It's just like a smooth surface right here. Some parts of it you could see the little lines, you know, like right here and right there. And there's some black mixed in with it. And this is one of those times where I'm not really happy to see black mixed in with the gold. Again, I just wish it was a very bright gold color instead, you know. Anyway, uh, you also get the actual, you know, the folded up lasso right there. And you could see more rivets right there in the rope and everything, so... That looks a lot better, I think. But still, wish it was brighter. And you can store this one right here uh, on her hip. She has a little loopy right there. As far as um, shield storage, I don't think she really has shield storage. And then she also has her sword right here. Looking really good. I like this a lot. I really like the details right here. We get some very bright silver. Nice baby blue. Metallic baby blue anyway. And then there's the gold again. And then there's a little bit of yellow mixed in right here on the blade. Looking pretty nice. I think it looks cool. And you have some dented in edges right over there. Very cool. It's not super pointy or anything, but yeah, this looks really nice. And then looking at the eight interchangeable hands, she has fisted hands right here. She has the lasso holding hands. Then she has her weapon holding hands, so it's a slightly wider grip than these ones. And then she has these wide open hands right here. And they all look really nice. Um, well, actually, there's one of them that had a little bit of paint smeared on the fingers. There it is. You can see a little bit of the extra paint right there. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but for the most part they do look good. And I think the little straps right here around them look pretty nice too, I like those little brown straps. Uh, pegging these into the figure is kind of weird, I don't know, there's something just a little strange about it, like I feel like I have to aim for the middle finger as I put these on. 
Uh, it's just kind of, eh, there it goes, yeah. If I'm aiming for the middle finger, it works out pretty well. I know I may have mentioned this before, but one of my favorite drummers is Bernie Dressel, and he's the guy who wrote the theme song for Wonder Woman in the BVS movie, so that's just an ultimate geek out for me. But uh, going on to Wonder Woman comic books, I really like the Finch's run on Wonder Woman from New 52. I really liked how he drew her, too, and Meredith Finch was the writer. I thought she did a really good job. And going a little further back to Gail Simone and Terry Dodson's run on Wonder Woman, I really liked that a lot. And Currently, I am reading Ruka's Wonder Woman book, so a lot of really good and fun Wonder Woman stuff to read out there if you're not already reading it. But anyway, onto the head sculpt. I really dig it a lot. I don't like her eyebrow color. It does look a little too gold, but I do like the sculpt of the face. It does look like Gil Gadot to me, right? I don't know. Look like Gil Gadot? No? I really like that Gil Gadot, though. I think she's beautiful, and I think she plays the role wonderfully, but no pun intended. But anyway, looking at the mouth, she has some nice lipstick right over there. I like the gold on that tiara. It's just that it looks like they use the same gold on the tiara as her eyebrows and that's just really strange to me that they would do that but on to the hair it looks great I like how we have this brown mixed in there even though her hair does look more like it's just jet black it, but I can't really remember off the top of my head I still think it looks nice though having that color variation so I'm always a big fan of having color variation then looking right over here I love how the metallic red came out on this I think it looks just awesome we get this dark gold color going on right here too. Same thing with that band around her arm. That looks pretty nice. I'm digging that. A lot of nice sculpted lines in here. Uh, this whole piece, I believe you can remove it. I haven't done it yet, but it's fairly easy to pop off the head of the figure and then just remove this. I think it shouldn't be too difficult, but I don't really want to. I started to, and it was just a little tougher than I expected, so I'd rather just not. But looking right over here on her wristbands, they look great. Really love how bright the silver is on these. Looks really good. Same thing on this side right over here, looking really nice. Digging that. And then her little uh, skirt piece right here looks really good. Nice little leathery textured detail in there. And I like how this band right here has this little detail on it too. Same thing with up here. That looks really good. And you've got that little gold button right there. And there's a wonder butt. And then looking on the back, looks really nice. I like how they have the black paint right there in those seams. That looks really good. Uh, one thing about the sculpt that does kind of bother me a little bit is that she is a bit hunchy. I don't know. I feel like she kind of hunches a little bit. It kind of bothers me, but it's not really that bad. But I did notice it more so as I was posing the figure around. You also get these Revel Tech type joints right here in the shoulder, which can be gappy, as I'd mentioned earlier on in the video. So those, you know, can be a little complicated managing them, but I like them for the most part. And her legs look really nice too, and they even sculpted Nagas right here, so I'm happy to see that. Even though it's not full on butt cheeks, and they even have a sculpted line right there at the bottom of the butt, so I think that's cool that they did that, you know, it's not too revealing, but just enough to make it uh, film accurate, because we do see some Godot Nagas in the movie. And thank you Zack Snyder and Gail Godot for that, we all appreciate it. Anyway, the knee pads look really good over here. And then these bands right here come attaching the shin guards look really nice too. There's a little back of the legs, not looking too shabby. And then they did use a flesh tone right here for the ankle joints, which makes sense. And then the bottom of the boots look really nice too. I'm really liking this. And it, this does actually help her stand fairly well. It's not difficult getting her to stand. So as I mentioned earlier, I do have some issues with articulation. She is a little on the wobbly side. As you can see, the, the legs are kind of dangly right there, especially around the hip joint and everything. But anyway, her head joint doesn't allow her to move up, or it's the hair that doesn't really allow her to move up so much. But there is a neck joint and a head joint in there. So she will look up just that much. Uh, she looks down a little bit further, just that much. I wish the hair was a bit softer so it allowed for more articulation. You do get side to side movement over here, you just have to flip the hair piece around and over the shoulder, and then she does have a little bit of head pivot. Anyway, you get those two joints right here at the shoulder so you can shift them up and down and forward and back. You also get the outside movement so she can move her arm all the way out like that. They will move all the way down, you can move them forward. She can rotate up here as well, she has a double jointed elbows that bend in that far. Then her wrists turn side to side and they can hinge up and down or side to side, whichever direction you get them moving. She has a diaphragm joint that turns side to side, pivots quite a bit, and it crunches forward and back. Same deal with the waist joint, side to side movement, waist 
waist pivot, crunches forward and back at the waist. Her hip joints can shift up and down right there, which is good. So you can get her doing the, uh, not quite the splits, almost the splits right there. Oh, one thing I didn't mention is that the inside of her left thigh is quite dirty. Go wash yourself, Wonder Woman. That's gross. Uh, look at that. Uh, Cochina, she's got a bunch of dirt and everything on the inside of her thigh. Who are you messing with, huh, Wonder Woman? Ooh, the Batman, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, she can kick forward pretty far. That's pretty good. And she will kick back. She has an upper thigh cut right there. Then the double jointed knee. And then her ankles do move down. They move up a little bit. And you can turn the ankle side to side. And she does have ankle pivot. Now measuring this Wonder Woman, you can see that she's standing just a little over six inches tall. And then comparing this Mafex Wonder Woman next to the only other BVS Mafex figure I still have in my collection, we have the Batman. And while he is taller than the Wonder Woman figure, I think he should have been even taller still. I don't know, maybe like up to there or something? I don't know. You let me know what you think. Then comparing this Wonder Woman next to some other Wonder Women, we have the Mattel's New 52 Wonder Woman. We have the BVS Mattel figure right there. Ooh, she got hit hard with that ugly stick, right? And then we have the DC Collectibles or the DC Direct Wonder Woman figure uh, based off the Terry Dodson artwork, which I love. So this has been my favorite Wonder Woman thus far. Uh, this one might take its place. I don't know. I'm going to put a card up over here. So if you want to vote for your favorite Wonder Woman out of these four, please go ahead and do so. Or if you wanted to sneak her into your Mezco collection, that doesn't look too bad either, even though I do think the Batman should be even a little taller still. And I do have the BBS Superman. I will be reviewing him probably next week. And there she is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time No Let Down Spider-Man. <laughs> I think this is a really good piece, man. I'm very happy with it. I think Mafex did a really good job on this figure. Very attractive looking figure too, you know? So they made her look sexy. They made her look pretty. She has a lot of articulation, a lot of good weapons. I do have my complaints, of course, but I do like it. And I really liked the trailer that they released yesterday. I thought it looked awesome. I'm already stoked for the movie. I actually kind of didn't want to watch the trailer at first, but yeah, uh, I was kind of forced to watch it while I was watching a YouTube video and it just showed up. So there you go. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. Also, let me know what you think of the figure as well. Now, I'd like to dedicate today's video to Dustin. Thank you so much, Dustin, for being a supporter of this YouTube channel. If you're interested in supporting the Shardom's Prime YouTube channel, check the link in the description below. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images, it's all over at ToyNewsEye.com. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Closing action figures. I'm closing action figures. I'm closing action figures. Every day, I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. It's okay. That's crispy. We're shot. We're shot. We're shot in your face. I said we're shot. We're shot. We're shot in your face. I said we're shot. We're shot. We're shot in your face. I said we're shot. We're shot. We're shot.